take 154. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I've decided I do want to get into YouTube. I'm a bit shy. I'm a friendly introvert, I would say, and um, it's a little hard putting myself out there, but you know what? We're all human beings, and so I'm not going to be too shy or afraid. I'm just going to go for it. So thank you so much again. I wanted to give a shout out to Courtney from Common Tags because I didn't really mention her adequately in a recent video. She's actually one of my top favorites and I've learned a lot from her and I really enjoy her videos. Um, also, I wanted to mention Mogi Beth because I really enjoy her videos too. And I see that she has a course coming up and I think something happened whereby it crashed due to all the people signing up but she's rescheduled it. So if you want to know further about that, of course, look into that because I really don't know too much. I just got a message this morning. Well, anyway, I have a haul today and it's from this week. It is from the Salvation Army because yesterday was Tuesday and it uh, is 20% off day for seniors. And being that I am a senior, I'll be 66 coming up soon, um, I get 20% off. So that makes a difference when you're paying um, most tops are four dollars. I think sweaters are five. Dresses are six. And um, then they have certain things that are really nice. They'll mark them up to eight or ten or whatever they think is, you know, the case might be. So anyway, one thing I got towards the end of the visit was this really cute little skirt. And it is by Coin Coin 1804. And it's a cotton blend. It's really lovely and being that we're in COVID and people are totally into just kind of <clears throat> a lot of the time excuse me being home and uh, not into party dresses and stuff like that so says my um, new to you lady my consignment person um, I think something like this will go over good so I'm gonna chuck it in the clean box over there and this is Vulcan because the lady that I wholesale to that has Whispering Waves, she has a consignment shop. Um, she buys directly from me without me having to consign. And she said, look for Roxy and Balcom and um, brands like that. And also other brands like Lululemon, of course. So anyway, um, this is a cotton blend hooded shirt and it's a large. So that's pretty cute. Most things I will be putting up on my Facebook marketplace. <clears throat> my throat's a little bit froggy this morning. This is a 3X dress barn cardigan and it's so pretty. I think it even has scalloped sleeves. Yeah, and it's in lovely condition so I think that will sell well. This was a find. I think I've mentioned before that in my town of 35,000, it's hard to find Anthropology and other really good brand names, but this is Meadow Rue. And I've gathered from learning from one of you resellers that this is by Anthropology, right? Is this by Anthropology? Um, if you could answer that question, I'd appreciate it. I do think it is. I think someone mentioned that. So here it is, just a little gray top. So that was a good find. This is, I thought it was a skirt at first, but I put it on there. You're not really supposed to try things on, but I did slip it over my head at the thrift yesterday. And um, it's kind of a little cape, a really small one. And it does fit quite tight. So I don't know, I'll either sell it or I might keep it for myself because it's a really cute little cape. What is this? Oh yeah, it doesn't have a tag, but it's a long tunic. Really nice and long, and uh, let's see. This would be a plus size for sure, so I think this would be a, an easy sell. I sell my tunics for 10 to $15 here on Facebook Marketplace and the other local sites. Um, you can't really command a high price selling locally. I know I'd do better, whoops, I'd do better on eBay if I get it up and running and with Poshmark um, I can do better on some really good names I could definitely do better than I can in town 
but for most things, people do want to deal on Poshmark too. I think I mentioned before that I have a few ladies that just love bright colors. So whenever I see something really brightly colored, I definitely grab it because I know it will sell. This is a brand, Aldila, and it's a large, um, yeah, nice bright colors. It's a shirt. So that should sell very easily. And then this is a brand I haven't seen for a long time. It's Triple Five Soul. It is a small and, you know, to be honest, I'm going to try to get out of smalls because <clears throat> they're such a hard sell. But I couldn't resist this because it is a Triple Five Soul and I could probably sell it to my lady at Whispering Waves because she has a lot more people come in and see her stuff. So. Anywho, so that was the haul from Tuesday, and then I'm going to go through some things that are recent hauls, and it is a mix because they've been removed from their bags and they've been put over in my bin. So this is a Kismet. Kismet's a very good seller. Medium, but I think it fits large. It's a nice gray cardigan. This, yeah, this is, um, what's the brand? Size large. I don't see um, a tag, but it's like a little Spanx panty, so I'll try selling that. And my sister um, gave me some stuff that she got from a lady who, uh, I think she was, was she moving or something, or is she a friend? Anyway, she gave Darcy a bunch of clothes, and certain things Darcy could sell, but certain things she just felt she couldn't because the sizes were so small, but one is a a purple satin blouse. Yeah, it's polyester, but anyway, there's that. Oh, here's another spanksy looking thing. I don't know what exactly what this is. Probably for the midriff, I think. What do you think? Do you think that's, yeah, for the midriff? Anywho, <laughs> thought I'd grab it. I've been to a lot of bag, bag of bar, bargains lately at the Hospice Thrift. They have been having almost nothing but $5 uh, bag days. And if you buy one of their reusable bags, they're, they're huge. And they charge you $4. And you could put the equivalent of at least two full grocery bags in one of their green reusable bags. So I always use them. And I mean, the cost per item, it ends up being about 10 cents or so. <laughs> Anyway, um, I got this nice little Cleo top, and it's got little buttons on the sleeve. And you know what? I think I would like to keep that for myself. I've gained a lot of weight. I was slim for so many years when I was working, but then I retired and we moved and had a lot of stuff going on. And I just, I got really thin and I didn't like it. So I tried to eat more to gain weight. And like I say, it took. So I'm about 25 pounds heavier than I was. So. I'm a chubby version, but oh well, you know, I feel pretty good, so I feel better than I did when I got really thin, so here is a little Calvin Klein bra, had a run on them a few months ago, they were just going like crazy, then all of a sudden it stopped, do you ever find that, do you ever find you'll have a run on some item, some type of clothing, and you think, oh, I better pick that up, because wow, that really goes good, then all of a sudden it's like, stop it just doesn't go so that's happened with me on the little bralettes things um this is a jessica simpson kind of short i try to get longer tops generally because most of the ladies like their bums covered and sometimes they'll even say you know will it cover my butt and uh, but on the other hand i still do have a segment of ladies who are young and slim and this is a medium I've got a couple of medium gals that love cute things so thought I'd get that this is a Volcom and I got it with um, my friend Belle from Whispering Waves in mind because she said to look out for Volcom oh this is a men's thing how do you guys do with men's clothes I know some of you do really well but I don't do that well I sell some of them to Val at Whispering Waves. Um, 
but trying to sell them on my own, they don't move very fast. They really don't. Oh, here's something. Oh, this is an XXS, extra, extra small, but it is a Wilfred, so I did pick it up. It's a skirt. Look at that tiny waist. It must be like 24 inches or something. So maybe I could put that on Poshmark. There's the odd slim little girl walking around. Oh, this was a find too. Oh yeah. Wilfred, size small. And yeah, it's a true small, but it's not super small. It's kind of got a little rounded edge and a slit. So that was a find, of course. And this is an identical blouse to the plum one that my I got from my sister. Actually, you will meet my sister. She is a reseller too. She's the busiest person I know. I'm not kidding. Um, we'll be doing a video together sometime and she's lively and fun. So <laughs> I'm a little bit more slow and laid back. But she's really energizing and I think you'll enjoy her. This is a cardigan vest, Morgan, kind of a beige, khaki beige with little pockets. Oh, this is something that, yeah, I was going to list this, but then I realized it was really like it had a funny kind of pilling on it, but it's really cute. I should actually keep it for myself. I don't normally wear really long tunics with my tights, but I mean, it's a nice idea for the cold weather because it would keep your thighs warm, especially if you're out walking around in the cold. Sometimes cold, sometimes when I go downtown, I take advantage of the fact that I am up and about and um, I go walking. I maybe park the car and I walk from maybe uh, Save on Foods over to the health food store or something just to get some mileage on my body because I really need the exercise. And yet it's hard for me to really discipline myself to go out every day for a long walk. I just, I don't. This is a Joe Fresh, really nice little turtleneck. Oh, I think I might have showed you this. Did I show you this yesterday? Maybe, I don't know. Um, oh, what is this? Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's got mesh. Nice little top. Looks like a medium, medium to large, and it's got that nice mesh see-through back. Things like that go over. Oh, this is just underpants. Hmm, okay, underpants. Don't know if I showed you the red satin pajamas. Couldn't resist these. They're by Vicenza. And red satin. And what size are they? Medium. Here's the top to it. Got black piping around the collar. Yeah. And what is this? Oh, yeah. Getting back on the subject of Spanx. I've never ever seen anything like this before, but it's like girdle, girdle material, like girdle or Spanx or something. So it's obviously meant to hold a person's body in when they're wearing a, a slim fitting dress. Let's see, what does the tag say? It says large. Does not say the make though. There's no tag to identify the make. So anyway, have you ever seen anything like that? Yeah, it's not a dress, it's like a little spanksy thing. Gotta look that up somewhere. Okay. I've had this kicking around for a while. I don't know, it's kind of out of season, but by the same token, sometimes um, summery things do sell in the winter. What do you find? Do you find that summery things sell all in the winter? Do you? Put away most of your summer things till the spring to list them or do you just list any seasonal type of thing all year round that's a cute little animal print kind of a caftan style i showed you that yesterday 
Oh, here's a couple of things I am going to put away. <clears throat> I sold quite a few of these little type of uh, white paneled skirts last summer. They went really fast and I had multiple buyers. So when I saw this, I thought, yes, I've got to grab it and set it aside for next summer. And what is this? Oh, it's a nice little top white Mandy Evans, whoever that is. But like a leg and look flowy top. And this is a little cardigan. In perfect condition. Excuse me, I'm just gonna grab my phone for some music. Yes, I had some nice I had some nice music on. I like music. Oh yeah. This is cashmere. Hundred percent cashmere. <laughs> Half listening to that music. Oh, that's so beautiful. Made in China, Peck and Peck. Really nice. I have this listed, but there's no takers yet. It's that really, it's slinky, but it's quite heavy when you hold it up. See my favorite color coming up again? Oh yeah, we showed you that. This is some of yesterday's stuff. Shawl, triangular shawl. I find they go pretty good. White ones definitely go, but I think the black will go pretty well this winter too. So I was watching last night, I was watching um, Leslie from A Reseller's Passion. Oh, from A Reseller's Passion. And um, she was saying that she sells bras really well. It's a real good seller for her. Whoops. Better shut that off. And she was putting them together in lots. I think she got them at the bins. So this is a Calvin Klein bra. It's in nice condition. I haven't listed a bra for really quite a while. So the little bralette things, they, um, they were selling well, the sports bras for a while, but then that just sort of dried up. But I haven't tried an actual lingerie bra for quite a while. This is a George 1X. So George from Walmart does sell, as long as it's a cute uh, style, it does sell, but you know, you can't ask too much for it. Here's an Aztec design cardigan. It's by Streetwear Society, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Streetwear Society. I have to sew that on properly. But this usually goes, this Aztec uh, Southwestern print, it usually sells really well, so I've got to get that listed. I've, I've got so much to list. I've listed about maybe three things today, but I've been doing other things, so yeah. And this is a LuLaRoe, LuLaRoe. Every now and then I do find a LuLaRoe. And it's a dress. I think this I'll put on Poshmark. So if you put this LuLaRoe uh, dress on Poshmark, what would you ask for it? What would be your price? Would you ask 30, 25, 35? I'd love to know. Oh, this is an Eddie Bauer men's size large turtleneck, or not turtleneck, crew neck. I like Eddie Bauer stuff. And this little purse, new with tags. I might have shown you this. I might be getting some of the things mixed in that 
I've already shown you. It's a 100% wool purse. But you know what? I can't get this open. I tried and I can't. I've got to give it to my husband to see if he could do that. And what is this? Oh, turtleneck. Uh, Jansen. Jansen makes bathing suits too, I think. I don't even know if they're in business still. Maybe I should keep this for myself because it's my size. And when the weather gets really cold, it would come in handy. And here is, you know what? I need a cup of, I need a sip of my tea. <laughs> you know what I realized? I haven't had breakfast yet today. I ended up falling asleep after supper yesterday. And anyway, my husband woke me up because he thought, well, if she's gonna be sleeping, she won't sleep properly at night. But I guess it was too late. I had enough sleep that last night I just could not get to sleep. And so I ended up getting really hungry like after midnight and I had to eat. So I had a big bowl of cereal. So when I woke up this morning, I was not the least bit hungry. And then a few hours went by and I still wasn't hungry. So I made myself a cup of tea because all of a sudden I started to get a little bit hungry and it's got milk and honey in it. And so now I could, I feel like I'm just dragging, sorry. Oh, I don't want this video to be too boring. Oh, that is good. So nourishment, I have to get back in the habit of having breakfast quite soon after I get up and then getting into a better routine. Uh, there's no uh, tag on this, but there was. It's a nice, uh, I'm gonna put it on actually. I don't wear cardigans. I'm a really basic person. Like a cardigan, a flowy cardigan to me would feel like it was flowing too much, flapping around. If I'm gonna wear a, a cardigan, I'd like it to be one that I could zip up. And what I like best of all is a vest. <clears throat> Then I don't feel so constricted. By the time you get to be almost 66, you definitely know what you like. Here's a vest. I thought about selling it, but it's 100% lamb's wool and it's by Cleo. But I usually wear this every winter, so I think I'm going to keep it. Whoa, oh, my earring came off. My goodness. Yeah. I love Nordic designs. I love, love, love them. Maybe because my grandmother came from Norway. That could have something to do with it. Sorry, you guys. So anyway, how is your day going? How is your reselling going? Right now it's slow here. It's been super good, but it's just a little slow, but then I haven't been listing tons of things, so that could have something to do with it. I hope that your day is going well. Another thing I collect is Life is Good articles of clothing, and that's a medium, and it's sort of a little nighty, nightier sundress. Oh, it's got a heart on it, isn't that cute? Ah. Oh, here comes something. I got this maybe, mm, I'm gonna guess three weeks ago, it feels like. It's a Wrangler XL top. I think it's a men's. Isn't that nice though, with the nice crisp white over the red? Here's a wool thing. Oh yeah, I know what this is. This actually isn't wool. It looks like it. It's a sleeveless turtleneck and it's long, like tunic style. And I've just sort of held back from listing it because I thought, would anybody want that? It's sleeveless and yet it's really warm and it's got a big turtleneck, but your arms would be bare. So I don't know. I just haven't felt like listing it. What would you do? Ah, that's so good. Here comes a really sweet little blouse. It's by Onyx. I know Onyx is not like a top name brand, but they do make nice uh, clothes for sure. This has all different buttons on it. 
and it's gathered. It's got gathered panels all over it. That's a medium, I think. Don't see the tag. Oh yeah, there it is. What is it? Yeah, it's a medium. And it's 98% cotton. So yeah, this is a very sweet little, sweet little shirt. I'm getting to the bottom now. Here, excuse me, please, for sniffing like that. Okay, this is New Balance. New Balance. Really nice pants. Kind of like yoga pants. Let's, they're a medium, yeah. I think I could squeeze into these. <laughs> it would hold me in. Yeah. So I'm either going to sell those or I should try them on because if they fit me, I'd like them. That's what I wear every day. Either black, gray, or occasionally brown yoga pants. Since I've gained weight, that's the most comfortable thing for me to wear. I used to wear anything really like corduroy jeans or cotton jeans. They always had a fly and a button. And, you know, they were little. I took size 8 and sometimes I took a 6. Now I take a 12 since my big weight gain. So I don't know if I'll ever get that tiny again, but I'm not aiming for it at all. But it just, it seems like so far away since I was slim. That's okay. No big deal. Here is... This is that material that I showed you a while ago. There was that, it's that slinky material, but when you hold it up, there's a lot of weight to it. This is like a deep plum, and there's pants and a top, so it's like leisure wear. You can hardly read it, but it's probably a medium. Yeah, you can see that it's got a design on it. And there's a top that goes with it. Oh, it's called Amanda. So a long sleeve top. I think that would be really nice for just lounging around. It's not very often I find like loungewear like this, but here it is. Yeah. And, oh, this is wool too. The Cloud Veil. I think they sell that at Costco. Size small, 100% merino wool. It really is small. I think I'll give it to my sister. My sister is tiny. My sister takes a size two, and she was saying the other day, it's she hates being that small because it's really hard to find clothing, especially up here in our town because there's not a lot of clothing stores. When she goes down to Las Vegas for a holiday, she just loves the shopping there. and She could find all sorts of like size twos and whatever to um, fit her little body and really cute stuff too. So, but now she can't do that because of COVID. So yeah, she was saying that it's really hard to be small, but I think that would fit her if she likes wool. I actually don't know if she even likes wool. I'll have to ask her. So anywho, I guess I'm coming to the end of the video. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, well, one thing I was gonna mention is um, I'm gonna be revamping my storage I've got stuff all over the place. We moved from a fairly large home, not huge, but a large two-story home to a patio home. And I've got stuff all over. So I've got a chest of drawers in the kitchen that kind of looks like a buffet, so it looks fine. And then my sister works for a real estate lady and um, she helps to sell people's um, household items when they, when they downsize. And so um, I've, was lucky enough to be able to buy a brand new, it's not brand new, but it's new to me, a really high quality Roxton high boy and an armoire matching. And so I got a very good deal on that. And so um, it's ready to pick up. So maybe by this weekend, I'll pick it up. And they're, um, I'm not gonna have it in the bedroom. Uh, both of the dressers are gonna be in various parts of our living area. And I will store clothes in there. I don't really have room for the large shelving, shelving units with the big bins on it. I do have some bins or hither and thither, but I don't really know where I could put a shelving unit. So that'll be another subject. I'll let you know once I get everything organized, once I get the drawers filled. 
in these new dressers that are going to be coming into my home soon, I'll share that with you. So, um, yeah. Anywho, let's see. Well, if you like this video, I hope that you'll like and subscribe. And um, I'll be back soon, that's for sure. And I'll be checking all you guys out too. Somebody I wanted to mention was um, a really nice lady. She came over to my YouTube videos and um, she might be my only, <laughs> my only subscriber. And her name is Reseller Wendy. And she's really a lovely person. So I just wanted to say she's a brand new person out there with a YouTube channel. And she has a few subscribers, not many. And uh, yeah, I was going to say take care and be safe during these COVID times. It's really getting, uh, we're getting high numbers in my province of British Columbia now. We had flattened the curve, but now, oh my gosh, every day there's hundreds. Um, and on Vancouver Island, there I think there were, were there 47 yesterday? 40? I need to go. Okay, sweetie, that's fine. Anyway, my hubby's just doing his thing over there. Yeah, so thank you for tuning in and I'll talk to you soon. Take good care. Bye-bye.